Now this signal, it is the discrete time unit step signal. So its value is 0 for n less than 0 and it is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. Let's see its mathematical definition now. The value of u of n is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for n less than 0. Let's see plot of u of n minus 5. So u of n minus 5 means the signal should shift right by 5 units. So this is u of n minus 5. So it starts from 5. Now let's see u of n plus 5. Now this means the signal should shift left by 5 units. This is the plot of u of n plus 5. Let's say we have x of n which is equal to u of n minus u of n minus 5. Here we have u of n and this is u of n minus 5. Now all we need to do is we need to take the difference. Let's resize it so we will get some space here. So when subtracting u of n minus 5 from u of n we will get x of n here. One important point to note here is that x of n is equal to 1 for 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 4. Always remember u of n minus u of n minus 5 its value is 1 for 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 4 not 5. Always remember that and its value is 0 otherwise. So this is a sharp difference from its continuous time counterpart. So remember its value is 0 at n equal to 5. In the coming videos we will see continuous time and discrete time impulse function.